Hello guys, welcome back to Just David, and we have a special guest today. Hi, I'm Hagen. Yeah. You guys remember me. <laughs> yeah, Hagen just dropped by randomly in Korea, and I'm just meeting him for dinner. Anyways, yeah, we have the cherry blossoms today. Ooh, so pretty, no, no, right? No, no. <laughs> yeah, we're we're two like lonely dudes watching the cherry blossoms together in Shincheon. But anyways, yeah, uh, enough of that. Today I'm gonna talk about a new random K-pop for thought. Can you repeat that? K-pop for thought. Okay, yes, I, I'm I'm promoting my brand. So K-pop for thought episode two. Today uh, I'm gonna talk about a new topic and give you feedback on the previous one, pre the previous episode, uh, in the latter part, in the back of this video. So don't leave the video after you've watched the um, former part, uh, the, the whatever. And uh, <laughs> I, I don't, I can't edit this, so I have to just ramble on. Um, anyways, today's, uh, today's topic is, uh, it's gonna be a hypothetical experiment or a simulation. I just wanna, I just learned from the BTS no, like no stream rule, like 24 hour no stream rule. You know what that is, right? Yeah. Like, can you explain? So basically, you uh, for like fans, they don't watch the video for the first 24 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, so all the fans uh, focus are on the music video, so they can break the record for like hitting however million they can hit exactly. for the first 24 hours. Exactly. Wow, Hagen is really good. Like he used <laughs> to be in K-pop too. Like he still is. He's still in, yeah. but not active. So. Yeah. Anyways, like there was those kind of rules, and there are plenty of other rules in the fandom culture, right? And I can't think of any more examples, but like some of these rules like go against the typical youtuber behavior right for example for reactions like a youtuber technically would like to like upload his reactions asap asap because like that's going to get more views that's going to get more like subscribers and eyeballs on it so like that would be the typical behavior but if you look in the fandom they're like they're going for like no no view um, no reactions within the 24 hours because we have a common goal to reach and uh, the reactions are gonna hurt our like performance mm -hmm. and stuff. So here comes the question. Like this is the question I want to debate with you guys, uh, discuss with you guys. Like put it put it in the comments, okay? Like you guys are gonna fight against you your, yourselves on the comment sections. Like it's gonna be a whole shithole down there. But first first case. Is the conventional youtuber okay like the current youtuber like uh a youtuber who is a k-pop youtuber like let's restrict it to k-pop youtubers a k-pop youtuber that uploads reactions asap right after the um initial MV, release yes yeah. after their in initial release uh yeah there's this kind of youtuber that is diligent and that's like um, competitive like he has good content good comments and everything and people like him like dkdk tv maybe <laughs> in the old days when we did oh and five and guys us earlier yeah but, yeah five whatever. guys as well Enjoy. anyways like there's this like conventional type of youtuber k-pop youtuber there's this side option number one and option number two would be oh option number two <laughs> <laughs> professional option number two would be a youtuber a k-pop youtuber that follows by and fandom play rules. play by the fandom rules exactly so like this youtuber would actually respect what the fandom is trying to achieve like for example they would not upload a reaction video within the first 24 hours or can you think of any other examples i i can't really think of any right now but like for example if there's a leaked video if mm. there's a leaked video they would not even mention it because like um like fandoms don't want to even give like the slightest attention to the leaked video like bts video got leaked today and we actually uploaded a video regarding like considering the leaked video today and there were like a few comments saying like did you really have to like cover this issue because like we're trying to like get away the attention because like people we don't want more people seeing let me hold know. it for you okay wow thank you so much but like these kind of stuff, these kind of stuff so like this second type of youtuber would not like upload these kind of like sensitive topics within among the fandom so there's like these two options and from the option one side they would think this type of youtuber option two would not be irrational right like mm -hmm. like you're here for youtube you're here for views you're here for subs and you're here, like yeah i know we they both like k-pop right they're both fans but like this is against like the youtuber behavior so Anyways, like we're not here to debate about their like uh, philosophy or like um, 
performance or, uh, yeah actually performance we're here here about we're here to debate about their performance so the question is if there's option one and two who would who would have better performance or who would have a better reputation or a better success you know a better success in the long term like you know let's say like they, we give them a we, we give them a year mm -hmm. for uh, doing their YouTube career and in this amount of time who would be more successful because like they're both k-pop youtubers they have different strategies and they have different attitudes right mm -hmm. so like for instance Hagen what do you who do you think would be more competitive or would be more like successful in terms of so for me like what I was thinking is just like yeah like put like let's just put BTS as an example mm -hmm. like yeah there are a lot of BTS fans is, like in the world but how many BTS fans like fans will actually care about like if uh, like about the reaction videos covering their whole entire MV like are you the type of fans who are actually trying to hit the certain million like views on the same day like for me yeah I love BTS but I'm not like the type of person who's just gonna watch uh, I, I'm not gonna watch the music video over and over again. I'm probably gonna watch it like two to three times a day Like two, like not a day like two to three times then I download it on my Spotify Then I started listening on my phone instead of rather than going back to the MV to watch keep watching it Okay, so, so you're more of a casual listener. Yeah, and yeah. like you're saying that it's divided between like the hardcore fans and Yeah, the so fans. yeah, so it's divided between the two and if you were to saying like who's gonna be more successful to be honest like I think the like the more like the convention ones like ourselves like who does it ASAP is gonna be more successful because as statistically mm -hmm. like statistically like all these reaction videos that are being uploaded as soon as possible gets so many views like it's probably like two to three more times than usual other people who upload it like maybe 24 hours later because like it's a day later already no one's gonna be like interested in those reactions because like the reaction comes out you can see like what do other people think of the video so I think other like other viewers the casual viewers are actually more interested in watching the people who has their immediate reaction rather than waiting and waiting you probably have heard like millions of times oh, already yeah. before you actually listen you and, or watch the MV already so okay. long term and view wise and t statistically wise I just think like the conventional youtubers are actually gonna be okay like, more great successful. point great point actually I I kind of have this kind of viewpoint as well I'm not gonna state it because it's gonna be redundant mm -hmm. but just to take the devil's advocate not the devil but like the uh, other side like I can maybe rebut like statistic wise you would be right because mm -hmm. I think it's 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 just common sense for youtubers to do that right yeah but we haven't seen any youtubers that are that act this way like option two like yeah. as a fandom behavior yet so like if we were to think if there was this imaginary youtuber maybe it might they might exist yeah but like if this imaginary youtuber were to behave by fandom be uh, fandom behaviors and fandom rules they would like they would stack or pile up a reputation within the fandom right they yeah. would get like legitimacy or they would get like the the uh, favor favor what a favorability what, what a, preference from the um, fandom itself like if they're gonna go viral on Twitter like uh, fandoms are gonna say like oh this this youtuber really respected our rules mm -hmm. like she's she or he is like the real army or the real blink or XOL like like uh, he or she is not doing it for cloud like a real fan so we should we should really stand this youtuber instead of the other ones that are doing it for views and subs and like Wait, we can maybe rebut that way and like in the long term like I don't know like, like I, I, so that's why I'm asking this question like just to just to make you guys think and imagine if there's this imaginary battle between like subscribers or views like in the long term who would win like option one option two so it's like if you were saying that like for me I was just thinking like as I stated earlier I was saying like do how many people do care right mm. so that's the most important point oh. because like there's so there's like that certain amount of people that will re reach a certain amount of views which translate to money like for us uh, but the thing is like does those like amount of people actually like like do you care about those amount of subscribers or all the people that okay. are interested in your like oh, you all in your point. videos you yeah. so okay Hagen made a good point <laughs> I'll just leave it here because I want to leave the other discussions coming from you guys in the comment sections 
So uh, pick your side if you want to pick your side of the conventional current K-pop YouTubers or the other side of like the fandom type YouTuber. Like who would be more successful? I want to hear your comments down below. And uh, to give you like feedback of the oh shit. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> we just we just uh, toggled something. But uh, could, could you show us the comments yesterday? Oh, like, yeah. I uploaded a video and the first episode of this and I'm, I'm really happy because of the reception. It's actually getting like 10k views already. I'm really, I'm really surprised. And I promise to give you guys feedback for it. Uh oh, uh, thank you, thank you. Um, so I'll read like the uh, upvoted like five comments. Yeah. So, it was about the video was about um, what do you think about the no um, no reaction 24 hour rule you know and um, do uh, what, what was the title are reactors stealing views from the original MV not only BTS but anyways a lot of people said it's actually the lyric videos that are stealing views mm -hmm. from the original MVs I I really agree, I agree to, to that, that too because they're trying to listen to the music only. So like, they're just like, oh, and they want to see the lyrics as well. So it has a purpose. And this is a this is a real big fact. I, I would agree. Do you agree to this? I agree to that one too. Yeah. I, I personally I look at the lyric videos to mm -hmm. see uh, what does the video mean. Yeah. Like especially yeah, right. international fans too. Right. Right. And the and the full album. Yeah. Right. The full album as well. So yeah, lyric videos are the ones you should boy boycott, guys, not the <laughs> reactors. Anyways, okay, another uh, from Sintiman. In some ways, they do lose views. Uh, but on personal experience, if I like the song they're reacting to, I'll go w watch the real video. I'll, I will go and watch the real video and often will buy the song. So, okay, so I think this is coming from like a non-fan maybe mm -hmm. uh, that has discovered this group through the reactor. Yeah. Or from another fandom. And if the person likes the reaction or the song that he or she's listening to within the reaction she goes to the actual MV and sees that so like that's another view for you so okay so far these are the opinions actually I personally love reaction videos but in the first 24 hours we're trying to break a record so that's why people show inhibition inhibitions uh, both parties have pure intentions okay yes you have a point too yeah. Indeed, both parties have pure intentions, and I know you guys are working hard to break that record. I think or, mm -hmm. Blackpink's holding the record right now, so Army's got to uh -oh, work hard. Don't for start it. a fan <laughs> war. Do not stand. A, do not start a fan <laughs> war in my channel. No, I'm gonna remain this clean. So, yeah, I I guess there's a lot of people that think like this as well. So it's like pretty like 170 likes, 100, uh, 300 likes above. So like it's pretty it's pretty like popular. It's a pretty uh, popular opinion. I think it's more about when searching about the BTS MV reaction, uh, the, the reaction videos pop up before the actual video. Oh, so this yeah. is another point too. So we were saying like, for me, I don't follow the BTS YouTube channel. Mm. So when it comes out, when I, but I do follow Diki Diki TV. Oh, so fake like, army? <laughs> no, okay, okay. Okay, so when I put BTS, videos related to Diki TV, Diki Diki comes out first rather oh. than like the BTS videos. Oh my so, god. It's more of the personal issue. If you're not following the channel, that's why those like recommended videos mm. will come out. Because like, there's so much stuff. Like, we study communications. We know that there's like these cookie stuff that we takes your information yeah, yeah, yeah. and translates to what your search history does. Mm. So it just gives you the stuff you want. Yeah, exactly. So the stuff like, for example, I watch a lot of DK DK videos, meaning that they're gonna give me DK DK videos rather than a BTS video. Right, right. Yeah, uh, other than that, like just randomly, if you just type in BTS, you get full like pages of reactions and reactions. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if you're a human being, you would get interested in one and get distracted, right? So like, uh, it would it would kind of like leech off from the views. So yeah. okay. And just one more comment. Okay, one over 100, okay. It's mostly because when people search up their MVs, especially when it's fresh, reactions tend to overlap the real MV, so it's harder to find them. So it's uh, it's the same opinion here. So yeah. like uh, same as the before comment. And anyways, yeah, uh, it was it was really fun to like look at. I've uh, looked through all your comments, and you guys are having like constructive uh, conversations, which is really good to know, and which is the purpose of this series. Like I'm not here to like no shout, censorship. Yeah, <laughs> shout out my opinions and force it and shove it down your throats. I'm here to pro uh, provide a community and agora for you guys, K poppies. Don't get offended, K poppies, <laughs> to like actually talk about your faves and these imaginary fun issues that are going inside my head. And 
might be interesting for you guys too. So, like, yeah, uh, please check out my series, K-Pop for Thought. I'm gonna do it maybe daily, maybe daily. So far, it's daily. So, yeah, I'll look forward to it, Hagen. And then <laughs> go follow Hagen on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. Hagen Wong. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna put any subtitles. There's no oh. editing at all, so. H-A-G-A-N-W-0-N-G, yeah. <laughs> Zero N-G, okay. Go follow him on Instagram and go follow me on Just David 92 Subscribe to DKDK TV and Just David as well. And hope you enjoy the series. And uh, bye-bye. Bye, answer my question. <laughs>